Hello my soccer universe. It is finally the time that I will review the Women's World Cup jerseys. I again will do it like for the Asian Cup. Six videos, one for each group and I will try this time. But for the Asian Cup I couldn't do it but this time I will try to wear a jersey. If it's not the women's version of a men's jersey that I have worn at the World Cup to at least wear from one of the countries in that group a jersey. And in Group A, where we start off, there is Nigeria in there, and we already know that they're wearing this wonderful uh, jersey. Uh, but before we go to look at the jerseys per se, uh, just a few ground rules. I will, since I won't be, ha I won't have the time to write on my blog about all these jerseys. I think I wanna go Copa America. There, I wanna cover all the jerseys in writing because most of the work has already been done, which makes it easy on me. For the Women's World Cup, they decided to really make the videos and you will get a grade after each jersey. If I've made a blog post on the men's version of this jersey already, uh, you will find it in the comments uh, below, uh, a link to the blog post. If I've commented on one of these jerseys already in a previous video, like my World Cup uh, jersey review, which was not all that great. I mean, this was one of the first reviews I did. So... Um, I may link to that. If it's an Asian jersey that was at the Asian Cup, I will for sure link uh, up there as well. If I already own a jersey like that, there might be a link to that as well. So, uh, a lot of cross-secting. The other thing I wanted to point out that today is exactly a year that I restarted this channel. Um, two days ahead of the World Cup. Probably when this posts, it's already um, a year in there, but I already almost made 560 videos. In fact, this is the 560th video since I restarted the channel uh, just ahead of the World Cup. So I'm a little bit proud of myself of doing that. I hope you, the subscribers, uh, are enjoying what I'm doing. I will try to keep on doing what I'm doing. Enough babble. Let's get to the jerseys. And the way I'm gonna go through it is more or less ho not how they seed it, but how they show up in the uh, not the seeded by not very how they seed by strength, but how they actually seed it. So the first we have France against South Korea, so it's first France and South Korea. Second one was Norway against Nigeria, so third is Norway, then fourth is Nigeria. So I will do this for all the videos and um, hope it is fine that way. So. Let's start with France. The French women get their own custom-made jersey, which is already a big plus. I And I have to say, right off the bat, almost all the jerseys that were custom-made for this World Cup for the women are better than the men's equivalents. Almost, if not all of them, and this is a great thing. And this France jersey is probably one of the few exceptions, although I really like the overall look of it. Uh, maybe what I don't like is that it's worn with navy pants and red socks. I think uh, the classic France look I would like better. Although I think this is only a necessity out of uh, FIFA kit rules. I think in the promotion picture they have it in the French flag. What do I like about it? I mean the color is the navy blue that we know now from the men's version for, for a while. It's not my favorite shade, but I, th I like navy blue a lot. I like this rosy gold uh, applications. The Cochlear Crest, Crest in rosy gold is great. The swoosh also. It gives it a very, um, how to say, classy, somber, a little bit somber feel, but you know, uh, in a very classy fashion. It, it looks like something that can be worn almost any time. On the other hand, lacks a little bit pizzazz. There is just a teeny bit more could be there. Yes, if there are numbers on there, there's a little a little bit more color, but it's almost too unicolored. And it's especially on the back where there's nothing there. Not even the taping has the French flag, which I found one of the nicest features of the World Cup winning France home jersey. That's missing here. It's just a plain jersey on the back. I think there's an FFFF. FFF, not FFF. FFF. Fédération Française du Foot back there uh, and that's it. Uh, that is a little bit too minimalist. So while in general it's a really nice looking shirt and I think one of those that I, if there was a men's version I could totally imagine having, I find it also a tad boring. If you want to see a really great jersey and I probably have to link it below is the France Centenary shirt. If that was what the women, the women were wearing here. I think we will be talking uh, much better. Color is a little bit too dark. 
although I like navy blue, but the color is a little bit too dark, there's a little bit too little excess, and for that only seven stars. However, the away jersey, and now that's one that really is miles better than the uh, men's jersey. Remember the men's jersey with all the specs on there, white with specs. Here we have white and it's seemingly at first a polka dot pattern, but if you uh, zoom in a little bit uh, closer, those are not actually circle dots, those are little hexagons. Of course, France has in French the um, uh, nickname uh, ex uh, Lexagon, the hexagon, because if you look at the map of France, you really can draw a hexagon around it. As a men's jersey, I would not subscribe to this look. But as a women's jersey, these are just about perfect. Again, the rosy gold color uh, uh, crest and swoosh, which get a little bit lost in the pattern, but uh, are still there. And then, of course, on the back, you have the taping. And my favorite feature is that the uh, polka dot pattern continues on the back. This jersey, for a women's jersey, is about as perfect as it can be. Um, my only complaint is that it overshadows the crest. Maybe here the crest on a solid background could have worked wonders here. That's my only uh, downside and also that it's, you know, it's purely for the Women's World Cup. As a men's jersey, I, I think this would not really work that well. And that's the reason why I only give this nine stars, but it is really, a really, really nice jersey. Um, I'm trying to get my wife to buy it because uh, we need some great women's jerseys too. But yeah, we'll see. Next up is South Korea. And yes, we have talked about this jersey a lot. I have made a video on it for the Asian Cup. I have written a post on it. Here's the women's version. I mean, it's rather bland. Um, there are white accents. It's worn with black shorts and there's the black on the tiger patch. And again, I'm amazed of how bad a jersey that has a tiger on it can look. Uh, it's just boring and for that I only can give it four stars and you can uh, read and listen to it why I go with this rating. Better is the away jersey, uh, which is similar, the same as the men's version. So South Korea did not get the special treatment, although this one is a decent one. I like that they have the yin yang or teguk, teguk uh, symbol kind of stretched out and made with those specs. Um, Gives it something special. Is it the greatest jersey? No. Do they try to do something special? Yes. And for that, I gave it eight stars. And I'm not gonna say more about it because I, again, I talk at length about this jersey. Norway is another Nike team. And note, we have only Nike teams in here that gets a special jersey. Uh, and of, I have to say that I really like the current men's home jersey and I was surprised that the women get their uh, own uh, jersey. On the other side, it makes sense. I also like that this jersey references the Norwegian pullover, which is such an iconic symbol. And given that the women have always been, also already been once world champions, it also makes sense that the women get their own thing. Those are the good things about this one. What I dislike is, is that the color gradient takes over the jersey and there's a lot, whole lot more navy than there is red. And for me, a Norwegian jersey needs to be mainly red. If they would switch the colors, I actually think I would like this jersey a lot better. Uh, this way, it just becomes way too dark. And I think this is worn with white uh, pants. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me this way. Either have the gradient start way lower or, as I said, reverse the colors. And I think this could actually be looking really nice. Uh, again, they don't do much with the taping except for a Norwegian flag back there. And yeah, it could maybe even look a little bit more like a pullover. What I do like is the Norwegian crest. I actually, once I saw this crest, I really would like to get a Norway shirt. I mean, I, that I don't have a Nor Norway shirt is just an aberration. I really would like to have a Norway shirt and this crest makes them look really, really nice. However, as I said, too much navy, and for that I can only go with six stars. The away jersey is the same as the men's. Uh, men are wearing Kirk currently. Um, I overall like what they are trying to do here. They try to put in the pattern of the Norwegian flag, but uh, they overdo it. I think 
we know you know the Norwegian flag has the navy or dark blue cross bordered by white and then on a red um, background so having two navy bands here is just one too many and I think you could have done a little bit better here if you really take the pattern from the flag put it across the chest that would that I would like even better on the other side I like that they do something different it is a white jersey and you give it some accent and it's actually if you are not a flag freak like, like I am this is actually really nice to look at and see how the crest at least the Norwegian flag part really pops on the band and I like how this band houses also the swoosh this is a really really nice touch very well done it is a pretty good jersey is it my favorite Norway jersey no I think some of the umber jerseys from the late 90s are still my favorite Norway jerseys but this one is a pretty good one and I think it fully deserves the eight stars I've given it previously and now we come to two more jerseys that have been worn at the last world cup and that's of course Nigeria here it is I'm wearing the men's version at least the one that I have here's the women's uh, cut it is the exact same jersey yes it would be nice if the women had their own and I, I actually the women's are called the Falcons uh, for Nigeria not the Super Eagles that I found interesting um, I still am not quite 100% sold on the black and white on the shoulders I'm very much sold with the pattern here and the feather pattern but the more I look at it this is just an outstanding jersey I also wish that the crest color background color would a little bit match up here so you know there are a few inconsistencies and that's why it doesn't get the absolute perfect rating but this is such an iconic shirt that finally is actually now on a regular run on sale if you want to get your copy you can actually find it online and um, get it for yourself I already got mine off eBay for 400 euros and I know it is not 100% uh, the real deal if you know note here this is a little bit too round I will do a video soon on this jersey um, I know that the material is the real thing so that's the most important I gave this nine stars and you can read about it uh, on other places the away jersey compared to the home 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 jersey falls off but um, I have to say I have hammered it maybe a little bit too much when I wrote the post it's just dark green but with the light green accents um, there is something about it that I like I don't necessarily like the monochromatic crest although it makes a whole lot of sense it is very simple and for that reason I slammed it in my blog um, with only five stars I actually want to go one higher and want to say it is overall a really nice look and for that I want to give it six stars but if you look at the two jerseys next to each other I mean this one grabs your eye any time of the day and for that reason it is just a better jersey uh, but you know I have a colleague who likes the dark green jersey he, he thinks it's the best jersey that, my, that Nigeria has been wearing as of late so you know tastes are different maybe your taste is also also different I like for African teams to go a little bit more out and what I like about the home jersey is that it's not only this feathery feel to it but it also has this African clothing feel to it which the green jersey doesn't have it's just a plain green jersey I want to bump it up because it's very pleasant to look at to six but I cannot go higher than that well that's it uh, first uh, jersey review in the books let me know what you think about these jerseys you know my opinion as I said before might be completely different from yours and for that reason uh, let, let, let me know which jerseys you like which ones you dislike um, and give me your rating if you want give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos especially the next five parts and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.